Welcome back to this brand new episode of the Football Manager series. Over the course of the last episode, I believe we played against Luton Town, where we took a 3-2 defeat. Since then, we've played uh, a big chunk of matches. We've picked up a lot of victories. We've seen Dejon Brown break out onto the scene. Shall we get into looking at that? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments of this series so far. What sort of things do you want to see? But shall we get straight into it? So here we have it then. Last time you was here was the Luton Town 3-2 defeat. Now, uh, since then, we've beaten Hull City 1-0 Peterborough in the Cup 4-2. Uh, Sheffield United, a 1-1 draw, beating Pompey, Plymouth and Bolton Wanderers. But a defeat to Louis Sibley's Oxford United was a disappointing one. Uh, conceded really late on through Cameron Brannigan in the 86th minute and it went to 3-1 then and just were unable to get into it. Over the course of the last few weeks, we've given Lennon Wilden, Harry Hawkins uh, and if we go back to the Stockport game, we gave Jack Perry his debut. Lennon Wilden has picked up his first goal for the club. Dejon Brown has scored some absolute stunners recently. He's scored two in the previous game versus Bolton Wanderers. It's going to be really interesting to see how this one goes for Derby County and Dejon Brown heading into this one. Picked up another one in Oxford. Uh, and then his one before that was versus Pompey. He's had a really good run of form. Now, there has been a few issues within the squad. Ben Osborne, Corey Blackett-Taylor and Connor Washington, as well as Joe Ward, have all picked up knocks, which will see them out of the next couple of games. But we've had some players step up, Dejon Brown being one of the key components to that step up. Obviously, Eber Adams has popped in with a few goals, so has uh, David Ozo. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens in this one. Uh, if we go and look at the league table, which you guys won't have seen yet, we are sitting in sixth place, just six place, six points, sorry, away from Cardiff City at the top of the table. It's going to be really interesting to see what we can do so far. We've overperformed, in my opinion. Oxford United, another team doing really, really well. 18 points from nine games. Let's get straight into this game versus Preston North End then. Uh, I'll catch you in the game. So then, here is the team for this upcoming game. It's... Uh Pretty similar to the team we probably would have played with in recent games. We've got Zeta Strom in goal, a back four of Elder, Cashin, Nelson and Niambi. A midfield three of Ibu Adams, David Ozo and Kenza Holdmeyer. And a front three of Mendes Lang, Dejon Brown and Caden Jackson. On the bench, Vickers, Wilson, Phillips, Harry Hawkins, Liam Thompson, Tawanda Chiwa, Marcus Harness, Tom Barkazen and James Collins. Jerry Yates picked up a knock as well and uh, he's going to be out for this one. So let's get into it. What can we do? Let's take a look at the Preston North End squad. Obviously, uh, when you're seeing this video, Derby County will have paid Preston just a few days ago. As I'm recording this, we played Preston today. It was a disappointing game. We were very, very poor. Got a match review out over on my other channel. So let's see what we can get out of this game. I think we can pick up all three points. Let's go for it. Let's see what we can do. Let's get to kick off. Let's put it on extended highlights. 28 seconds in, first highlight of the game. It's a corner for Derby County. Callum Elder is going to put it in. It's a brilliant save by Woodman. It's going to be really interesting to see what will happen in this game. Obviously, if you look at, if we get up the league table over on this right-hand side, you'll see Preston off end sitting 17th in the division, eight points behind us so far. And as it looks, we've taken two shots, one on target. We may be able to pick up three points in this game. Really risky there from uh, Ibu Adams. Ryan Niambi pushes on. It is going to be interesting. Let me know your thoughts on the series so far down in the comments. Uh, obviously, we're getting ever closer to the Christmas period. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see uh, how this channel takes off. I've got loads of videos prepared already. I've got... Uh, about 20 episodes of the GTA series already recorded and uh, uploaded to YouTube for you lot to uh, take a look at. Obviously, uh, this Football Manager series, I'm getting myself up to date with this. Um, so there's loads of episodes for you guys to come and watch. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What sort of things you want to see uh, with Football Manager or with the channel? What games do you want to see me play? Things like that. Let me know down in the comments. And obviously, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned. What a strike that was by Niambi. Really unlucky not to score there. At the moment, it's been a really sort of iffy game. We've had a lot of highlights, but 
not really created a great deal of chances. Ibu Adams there. Mendes Lang shoots from range, save from Woodman. It's a corner. We've been quite good from corners uh, in this uh, save so far. Not necessarily direct, but sort of these sort of like second phase of corners. We've scored quite a few goals from them and we're in a fairly decent position in the league, obviously sitting in sixth place. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, the table progresses because it's very different to what I anticipated. Obviously, with us being up there, there's Burnley, Luton up there. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday and Cardiff are at the top of the division. So that's going to be interesting to see how that shakes up come the end of the season. Oh, it's a good save by Zetterstrom. Some really good play there from Preston. Patrick Roberts scoring for Sunderland. Carlton Morris for Luton. Mendes Lang's got a corner for us now. It's a great header from Ibu Adams. What a goal that is. Absolute brilliant football goal there from uh, Ibu Adams. Breaks off the back post. Brilliant header over Woodman. Surprised it's not called for offside with the man on the goalkeeper. But... This is football. This is football manager. It knows what it's doing. Are we going to get... We are absolutely dominating this game. Nine shots, five on target. It's a poor ball from Callum Elder. Dejon Brown picks up the scraps, though. Dejon Brown has been unreal so far for us this season. I wonder if we'll be able to make him into a first-team player. Because, obviously, at the moment, he's been playing a lot of games. Uh, we'll look in it at the end of this episode. But he's had a really, really good uh, start to life under me. And there we go again. It's another goal. Oh, it's offside. That's unlucky for Dejon Brown. He's had a really, really good uh, assist. I don't know if it's the system that suits him. But he's been so, so good. And nearly another goal from a set piece there. But Dejon Brown, I think he's on five or six goals for the season. He's had a really, really good start. And I wasn't always, I wasn't 100% on putting him into the first team. So it's one of those where I've put him in. He's taken his opportunity. Uh, obviously, it'll probably come off a little bit early in this game as we look ahead to the future games. I think things are going well. I think the players are capable of even better than what they're doing right now. We will make a few changes. Uh, as we get through the game, the likes of uh, Brown, Kenzo, Ibu, uh, Cashin, Elder will probably be the players we look at to take off. Uh, maybe even the likes of Caden Jackson and uh, Mendes Lang as well, who've been real good performers for us so far this season. But as you can see in the league table, we're currently sitting fourth in the division. Uh, as results stand, brilliant for us. Uh, I'm actually very, very shocked by how well we've competed at the start of this season. Obviously, 10 games played, currently 20 points. That's two points a game. In most cases, you'd be sitting in the automatic promotion places. Are we going to be in an automatic promotion fight? That's a big question. It's unbelievable form that we've been in to start the season. Can we keep it going? That's a big question. We're getting towards the mark now where I'm going to look to make some changes uh, probably after this highlight, it's a second goal for Derby County. Unbelievable. We're going to take off Dejon Brown, bring in James Collins, get Marcus Harness in, drop, get to Wanda Chiwa in as well, save Ibu Adams and bring in Liam Thompson. And we will... Let's put Ozo a little bit deeper. Let's give Harry Hawkins his championship debut. All five substitutions... Thompson, Hawkins, Chiwa, Harness and James Collins all coming on. Let's see what they can do for the rest of this game. It's probably not the right call to make all five substitutions, but sometimes I think you've just got to you just got to bite the bullet. We're winning 2-0. We're sitting fourth in the league. Let's not I got a bit in the episode where we played loot and I got a little bit overconfident thinking that the team was a little bit better than what it was and ultimately paid the price with the uh, comeback defeat that we suffered in that game. To under Chiwa, he's had a really good run of form for us. I think he's scored three or four goals uh, in the cup competitions. It might be two or three, actually. But he's scored quite a few goals in the cup competitions and is working his way potentially into the side uh, alongside uh, Kenzo Haldmeier instead of, instead of. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that progresses over the course of um, the next set of fixtures. So another corner from Mendes Lang. We we are good from corners. I'm not quite sure why though. 
We're breaking away now with Ryan Niambi. Twanda Chiwa. I'm, a, I'm quite happy with Preston to have the ball down towards the back. Mendes Lang picks it up from a poor, poor pass from Woodman. Can we secure this game with uh, a clean sheet? Are we going to be able to do it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments right now. Are we going to keep a clean sheet in this game? Mendes Lang's looking tired out there. He'll probably sit out the next one. We'll have to see how fitness goes. Marcus Harnett squares it for James Collins. That's his third goal of the season. He picked up a brace in one of the cup games uh, earlier on in this uh, campaign. It's a really good bit of play there from Marcus Harness and Tawanda Chiwa. 1-2 on the edge of the box. James Collins pulls off his man. First time finish. Takes a little bit of a deflection. But wonderful finish from James Collins. Harry Hawkins. This is the first time that you lot will see Hawkins. But he's had some really good performances, which is why I've kept him around the first team. Lennon Wilden as well is another one uh, who I've kept around the first team. Obviously, Dejan Brown. Um, and I am looking uh, sort of towards the January window to bring Jake Rooney back and see sort of uh, if he can fit into the centre-backs or right-back, left-back, maybe even the midfield, see what happens. We've picked up an injury to Tawanda Chiwa, and that, guys, is why you don't play uh, all five substitutions in one go. But Harry Hawkins comes on. Let's drop the wingers. Uh, drop the wingers in. Let's keep uh, James Collins up front. Let's confirm that. Just finishing the game with 10 men. But ultimately, we're going to find ourselves fifth in the division at the end of this on 20 points. 3-0 victory, an excellent one for Derby County. We've only lost a couple of games so far this season. So what a, what a wonderful start to the season we have had. It's been absolutely unbelievable. The final whistle goes. It's 3-0. What a performance for Derby County. James Collins, Marcus Harness, Mendes Lang, Ibo Adams being involved in the goals. Let's give the players the praise that they deserve Let's look at the league table then. We sit fifth, 20 points from 10 games. Six points off Cardiff City, who are at the top. They've had a really, really good start to the season. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens over the course of the rest of the season. So make sure you have hit that subscribe button. Six weeks losing to Wanda Chiwa. That's disappointing. As I said, he was starting to break himself into the team. Two goals, two assists over uh, 10 appearances is... Really, really good return, and he joins a long injury list of Craig Forsyth, Connor Washington, Corey Blackett Taylor, and Ben Osborne. Tawanda Chiwa is now on that list. It's disappointing. Obviously, Dejon Brown, top goal scorer, Caden Jackson, Jerry Yates, equal on assists. Most player of the matches, Jerry Yates and Dejon Brown. Ebo Adams did pick up a red card. Uh, throughout the stop, the course of uh, these few games where we played off camera, we're going to come back in a few weeks time for the Tottenham game in the Carabao Cup we face Tottenham at Pride Park Stadium it's four games away that will be the next episode in a couple of days time so make sure you've hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay tuned for that one if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to stay tuned for all of my gaming content on this channel. If you haven't done so already, let me know what sort of games you want to see down in the comments. I'm willing to play practically anything for a YouTube video. So let me know your thoughts down below. I'll catch you in the next one.